Hi guys. It is a gorgeous moonlit night here in the Point Lonesome Swamp here in the end times. It is getting on towards midnight here on uh, Monday night, November 22nd, 2021. And I uh, need to be going to bed, but I got a little bit of this margarita left to finish. So, uh, you know, with this damn internet down here, I haven't been able to watch videos since I got here, but I finally decided, fuck it, and just, uh, as long as I hang out within a few feet of the uh, blood-soaked, brain-splattered couch up there in the, <coughs> in the chamber of horrors, I, I, you know, I could actually watch uh, YouTube videos, so I was glad to see that my old buddy Vegematic uh, has put up his 39-minute uh, 10-year anniversary special. Anyone uh, who does not know Vegematic, the man needs some new subscribers. He's really, uh, he takes this subscriber shit way too seriously. So get over there. That is V-E-G-E-M-A-T-I-C. Uh, and get a taste of Vegematic. And uh, he, he, he's a great guy. So anyway, I enjoyed I, I made it to the end, Veg. I, I made all 39 minutes uh, of it. And most of it, he was just having a lot of fun. He, he had this one serious... Thing about these motherfuckers at Caterpillar Corporation, uh, you know, fucking over their workers at some factory up in Canada, I guess, uh, you know, just, just treating them like shit and then uh, just being basic corporate assholes. And I made some comment on uh, the, you know I, I don't like to pick fights with my with my friends here in the doomosphere but you know I made some comment that this is you know this conundrum being a lefty snowflake eco nazi that when you have a fucking planet eater with the name of Caterpillar. I mean, you know, they are the most honest named corporation. They are literally planet eaters. The Caterpillar Corporation is the embodiment of everything that is wrong with this, everything about the fuckers. Everything about them. And so they're in this unique position that these fucking scumbag planet eaters you know, treating their own employees like they treat the fucking planet. They are one of the single most evil corporations ever to, you know, to walk and eat this planet. And you just have to reach a choice, you know. So... <laughs> You know, I feel bad about those workers. This is what happens when good people go to work for bad corporations. Uh, but, but, you know, I, you know so the, what's left of the little lefty, limp dick snowflake in me, uh, you know, feels bad for these people. But they never should have been working for these fucking evil motherfuckers. You know, Caterpillar Corporation, everybody in it, you know, starting at the top and working down, uh, and, and needs to be out of a fucking job. Caterpillar Corporation needs to be out of a fucking job. And uh, so anyway, so I got into this. So, so what I did was... I, 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 I go on and Google, like, uh, environmental uh, effects of Caterpillar Corporation, and I have to say, guys, after going on and, 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 and uh, Googling this, I, I have to... I have to eat some crow. 
I have to eat some crow. I, I, I have been wrong ab 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 about Caterpillar Corporation. It, it's right here. And uh, so I want to apologize to, you know, to, to Vegematic to making that comment. And uh, because right here, you know, all these years, uh, I, I've been thinking that Caterpillar Corporation are, are, are some of the most evil motherfuckers ever to walk the planet. Uh, you know, the, the only good thing to do with a uh, with one of those damn uh, planet eating machines is, is you know dump a, about five pounds of sugar in the fucking crankcase. Let me put on my two pairs of glasses. But anyway, I I have to apologize uh, because it, it's right here, right here, from Caterpillar.com. Caterpillar's sustainability vision and mission. Our long-standing commitment. This is from, from Caterpillar itself. And, they, and, and I know that Caterpillar would not lie to us. Uh, clearly, Caterpillar Corporation would never, would never greenwash uh, us folks. Uh, our long-standing commitment to sustainability inspires us to improve the to improve the quality of the environment right here our long-standing commitment to sustainability at caterpillar corporation inspires us to improve the quality of the environment and the communities where we live and work. You know, you can go on Vegematic show and see how, uh, how Caterpillar Corporation uh, improved the community uh, up, up there in Canada where, uh, where we live and work and provide products, you, you know, giant earth moving equipment and services, you know, cutting gaping holes into the planet, uh, obliterating millions of acres of rainforest, uh, that, that kind of, those kind of services that help our customers, you know, like Jair Bozo Nero being a major customer. Now, of course, the, the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative probably is keeping caterpillar in business help our customers fulfill society's basic needs such as shelter clean water sanitation food and reliable power in a sustainable way a sustainable way so which means that caterpillar corporation can go right on about business as usual on this planet for eternity is what you know sustainable means that they can uh, go right on doing what they're doing forever there it is so what is their sustainability mission we strive for economic growth we strive for economic growth through infrastructure. Can you say Chinese Belt and Road Initiative? Can you say Build Back Better? In energy development, can, you know, obviously, uh, servicing uh, oil fields and shit like that, while providing solutions that support communities, such as the one Vegematic was talking about, and and protect the planet. Yes, uh, their their sustainability strategy uh, helps further our sustainability journey, providing new opportunities for customers, employees, and communities. For more than 95 years, 
our customers have used our equipment to develop infrastructure, energy, and natural resources that improve living standards across the globe. Yes, our dedication to building better is stronger than ever. And let me see if we can, uh, let's see, how can I, can I make this, this is the picture that uh, they chose to illustrate their sustainability goals in protecting the planet. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. We strive for, this is their mission, their sustainability mission. We strive for economic growth through infrastructure and energy development while providing solutions that support communities and protect the planet. And uh, this is a picture of the Sustainable Caterpillar Corporation uh, protecting the planet. They had one thing, I, I, uh, I can't find it again, where they were bragging about uh, creating the world's first net zero emissions open pit mine. You know, part of their sustainability is to create a net zero emissions open pit mine. So anyway, uh, Veg and Caterpillar, uh, I apologize. I obviously uh, had Caterpillar, uh, I don't know who I had Caterpillar confused with. So anyway, I want to make that uh, little amplification and clarification. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about Caterpillar. So Veg closed the store, his uh, video with telling this humorous tale about uh, when he was busted by the cops while uh, dry, while driving a moped naked through the through his neighborhood uh back in his back in his younger days he was he took a made a bet or took a dare or anything anyway to to take a moped on a drive uh butt ass naked and ended up getting arrested uh in, in the act of driving the moped naked so he he mentioned in there asking if anybody uh, listening to this had you know some other story they would like to share and I honestly don't remember if I have shared this story on uh, Humpty. I probably have sometime in the last 13 years don't know but since Veg asked uh, this would be uh, well, well of course uh, I have many to choose from but his story brought this one to mind, and uh, if anybody's concerned about TMI, oh well, you know who you're dealing with here. So anyway, this was back in my college days, you know, when I, when I used to have uh, sex with a, a wide variety of uh, beautiful young women. Uh, and, and so... We will call this, you know, this this psycho bitch here, Lulu, blowing her fucking brains out. I, I need to think of another name than Lulu. Uh, what what I'm talking about, former girlfriends and stuff. So we will call. Uh, we will call. Uh, what will we call this woman, Linda Lou? Okay, we'll call her Linda Lou. So. Uh, Linda Lou was the uh, girlfriend of one of my good buddies. Now, I've mentioned, I think, I might have mentioned that I actually used to fuck my brother's fiance. 
So, you know, when you're fucking your brother's fiance and your brother's fiance's kid sister while the big sister is is, is fucking her fiance's kid brother. I, anyway, what's the big deal about fucking your buddy's girlfriend? So anyway, this uh Linda Lou uh she liked the butt stuff. Uh she actually preferred it, uh, and, and, and who am I, you, 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 you know, twist my leg, darling. So anyway, Linda Lou, uh, she was a real sport. She, uh, she liked to have sex in, in relatively public places. I remember getting a blowjob from her in a laundromat uh, <laughs> one evening while we were doing our laundry. Uh, right there in the middle of the laundromat, uh, giving me a blowjob, but uh, we've had many. I, I remember one time I was fucking her on the, uh, on the side of a railroad track uh, on the way back from watching the story of O and the train coming by and her waving. She liked it doggy style and her waving at the engineer and... and uh, while I was fucking her, she turns around, looks over her shoulder, and goes, Hambone, could you hurry up because I need to get home to fuck Billy Bob, which was another one of her boyfriend's buddies before uh Jim Bob, which was her boyfriend and my buddy gets home. So I had to hurry up and finish fucking her so she could fuck her boyfriend's other buddy before her boyfriend got off at midnight from the pizza joint so she could fuck him. So anyway, you know the kind of girl. She was a real sport, is, 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 is what you call Linda Lou. But anyway, we were at the, uh, this was in Atlanta, Georgia. We were going to Georgia State University. Uh, she was a nursing student. Of course, I was a journalism student. She was a nursing So anyway, I'm assuming Jim Bob was at the pizza joint. And so she, we, 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 we could have fucked at my house. We could have fucked at her house. But no, she says she wants to get fucked. Uh, on the on one of the putting greens in the Candler Park golf course near our house uh, that that she wanted to uh, that that she wanted me to fuck her on the uh, I don't know shall we call it the ninth hole uh, so I don't know what hole it was that we headed so we go there I don't know what time I mean it was after dark but it wasn't that late so. We, we go out there to the fucking ninth hall, strip our damn clothes off. She gets down on her goddamn hands and knees and she wants it up the butt on the fucking ninth hall uh, out there in, in the Candler Park golf. This right in the middle of this neighborhood. Uh, in the Candler Park neighborhood in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, who am I to uh, refuse a favor for a friend? So we're going at it. Oh, I mean, we're, we're fucking going at it. I, I, I mean, uh, Linda Lou, good God. And it, so I, I'm sitting there, I mean, literally with my dick up this girl's butt. Okay, and, and she's out there making all and doing her squealing and whatnot. We're out there a lot like, like two fucking pigs rutting out there, butt ass naked, my dick up her ass, and you know what happens. I mean, we don't know where the motherfucker came from. All of a sudden, goddamn flashlight was on us. And this goddamn cop is standing like, like 10 feet from us. And he's going like, what the hell? Like, what the hell? Like, Jesus Christ, what, what do you do when you got your dick up? Some chick's ass 10 feet in front of a cop. Uh, at a, so, uh, I I anyway, uh, that was coitus interrupti, to, to put it mildly. So, <coughs> at least unlike with Veg, the, the cop 
let us put our clothes on. And so he writes us up. I mean, he was trying to, I, I don't think he realized exactly what we were doing. I mean, I, I, I don't know. He, I, I mean, he didn't really ask for details. It was unclear if he knew exactly uh, what we were doing. Uh, but he had a pretty good idea, so he writes us up, uh, whatever it is, uh, indecent exposure or, or basically fucking uh, out in public. And, uh, but we don't get arrested. You know, we thought he was going to haul us in and, and, and like, uh, but, but, but he's walking across the fucking golf course. He's by himself, his fucking car. So he just, he, he just basically uh, reads us the riot act and, and, and gives us this, this damn ticket uh, to, you know, to go to court and, and face the judge. So, I don't know what date it was. It was, let's say it was September 10th. Okay, so he, he writes us the tickets down there, you know, on September 10th, I found th this young man and this young woman out there fucking uh, on the ninth hole of the Candler Park golf course. We go into the fucking courtroom and, uh, you know, we're sitting there, you know, it's a public courtroom. And you get to hear uh, what everyone's being charged with. So, he calls Linda Lou up to, you know, to the bench. The fucking judge is like, look at her, like, young lady, you know, what, what is, blah, blah, what was this? She's totally fucking embarrassed. Because, you know, I mean, what her biggest fear is that her boyfriend was going to find out. Uh, so anyway, you know, so, so how do you plead, young lady? And she, she said, well, Your Honor, uh, it is what it is. I just want to get this over with. So, you know, guilty as charged. It was a pretty steep fine. I mean, it, it, it was like three or four hundred dollars was the fine. So uh, so he calls me up and and he's ready to hit the the you know he, he just is ready to hit the gavel and he said <laughs> this is right after Linda Lou she's still standing beside me just pled guilty. Uh, so the so the judge goes well, well, young man, how do you plead in this? And I said, not guilty. <laughs> and, like, everybody in the courtroom, like, what? And I, I, I mean, the fucking judge, I mean, Linda Lou knew I was going to do this. The fucking cop, uh, the cop is there. Uh, you know, the, the, the fucking cop who arrested us is 10 feet away. Uh, the judge is getting ready to find me. And, and he goes, how do you plead? I said, I plead not guilty. And, and there's total silence in the courtroom. And the judge goes, how can you plead not guilty to having sex with this young woman who just pled guilty to having sex with you? Uh, he goes, I really want to hear. Uh, I really want to hear your explanation. So I looked at the, uh, I looked at the summons. And uh, it said right there on the summons that on the night of September 11th, uh, night, this would have been 1981, that on the night of September 11th, 1981, that I was, uh, had my dick up, uh, Linda Lou's butt on the, on the, ninth hole of the Candler Park golf course. And, and, and I said, Your Honor, uh, I said, uh, I assure you I was not at uh, anywhere near Candler Park golf course on the night of September 11th. And, 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 and oh God, that cop uh, on the fucking bench down there and the judge, I mean, he was pissed. So, we, so the judge goes, oh really? Uh, and he looks over at the cop and he goes, officer so-and-so, was Mr. Mitchell 
did you find Mr. Mitchell, uh, encounter Mr. Mitchell on the golf course, uh, at, 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 you know, on the night of September 11th, or did you not? And the cop said, uh, no, your honor, I did not. And uh, the judge said, uh, not guilty, you're free to go. I will let you decide. Did I pay half of Linda Lou's fine or did I not? How well do you know me? Did Hambone pay half of that fine or not when I walked out of there uh, not guilty of... Uh... <laughs> anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it memories of when I used to have anal sex with uh, beautiful young blonde nursing students uh, at public golf courses. Anyway, I finished my margarita, but uh, get out there and uh, enjoy uh, all the anal sex you can find on any golf course you can find. Well, you still can. It is midnight. I am going to bed dreaming of Linda Lou. My guys, don't forget Vegematic channel. Help out my buddy. Send him some love and subscribe to his channel. Please. Bye, guys. Ugh. Can I get out of this chair? Not as limber as when I was 21 years old. Bye, guys. Are you ready to go to bed, little dog? It's been a long day of squirrel, squirrely hunting like that.